What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel where I talk about faith, locks, and more. In this channel, I give you tips on how to care for your natural hair and your locks, and we also talk about how to grow in faith. Today, I will be trying out a hot oil treatment for my hair because I've noticed that my hair has been dry lately. If this is something that you might be struggling with or this is an issue that you might have had in the past, then join me along as I try this hot oil treatment to see how it works out for me. some of the things that hot oil treatments can help with. They can reduce dryness in your scalp, strengthening your hair, and they can also help remove dandruff. Now, these three things are things that I have struggled with in the last month, I've noticed. So I'm hoping that as I try this hot oil treatment, there'll be a change in my hair strength and I won't see as much dandruff in my hair. So to get things started, I'd like to show you what my hair currently looks like so you can get a feel for what we're working with before we try the hot oil treatment. So as I take my hair down, you're going to notice the first thing is that it's pretty stiff. My hair does have a lot of dryness to it. You won't be able to tell, but up close, I have been seeing quite a bit of dandruff. I colored my hair about a month and a half ago, which I think had a big role to play in the dryness of my hair. So I'm hoping that as I try the hot oil treatment that I will start to see difference I am going to show you the back of my hair so you can get a feel for the texture you can see its length you can see that there is some movement but not too much actually at first glance you're seeing that the hair looks dry it lacks moisture then we're gonna get an up-close shot of what it looks like again you're seeing more of the dryness and the lack of movement my hair has been washed. The reason why I chose to wash my hair before the oil treatment versus washing it after is I wanted my hair to be clean and I wanted it to be able to absorb the oils. So I know some people rinse the oil out once they're done, but I will not be rinsing the oil out of my hair because I believe that my hair will be able to absorb it as we go through the week. So next up, I am going to combine the different oils that are gonna go into this hot oil treatment. Then I will be back as I put it into my hair so you can see how I go about it. For our hot oil treatment will be using an assortment of oils I will give a detail noting why I'm using each one of them so what we'll want to do next is mix all the oils into a bowl and then mix them together then once we're done we want to make sure that we heat this up before we use the oil notice that this is 100 percent clean natural products i usually like to only use natural products for my hair to make sure that i'm giving it the best treatment possible So now it's time to put the hot oil into my hair. As you can see, my hair is almost parted in half. So I'm going to start by putting my hair in two pigtails. I've seen people section their hair into four sections, but my hair doesn't require that many sections because it's not that thick. As I put this up, I'm going to grab my oil. Now, once you put the oils together, you want to heat it up. So the oil that I'm working with is hot and this just gives me a sense of how much is going to go into each one i don't use too much oil only because i know that i'm going to be sleeping with it overnight i have decided that i'm going to keep it on long term and then tomorrow i will show you the results once the hair is dry so i'm using this old castor oil bottle to put the oil inside and i am just going to run the oil through my hair Make sure your oil is not too hot because you don't want to burn yourself. My main focus is on my scalp. A healthy scalp usually means that your hair is healthy. When you care for your hair, make sure that you're really focusing on scalp health. Sometimes we neglect that and we focus more on the ends of our hair and because of the color i want to make sure that i am concentrating on the ends as well making sure that they're getting the moisture that they need then i will do the same thing on the other side as you can see it's pretty simple hair care should not be complicated at least in my opinion 
And when we talk about caring for our hair, we really want to develop routines that fit into our lifestyle. I personally don't like to have routines that take too much time, only because I know that I am low on time, as I'm sure most of us are. So as you can see, I'm just going through my hair. And as we get to the edges, the edges are an area that I am still working on. As I mentioned in some of my previous videos, I put my hair up in styles that were a little too tight, which then led my hair to break off in the edges. As we can see, I'm just going through this. Again, this is something that you can do on a weeknight if you really wanted to. Part of my hair care routine, I want to make sure that these are things that don't require a full day. So I'm going to go through the back of my hair and I will show you how I'm running my fingers through the hair. If you're working with loose natural hair, you would probably want to do this in four sections and you'd want to take time just to make sure that each strand is coated with the oil. Once again, the oil is not ridiculously hot. It's tolerable. So we want to make sure we want to get our scalp. Again, one of the things that this is supposed to help with is to reduce that dandruff. So as we Rub the oil on the scalp. Now, as you run your hands through your hair, you'll be able to feel the areas that don't have oil. There's still some areas that feel pretty dry. And you can tell because you don't get that slip towards the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and Go through it one more time. You could even pour it directly onto your scalp. It just might be a messy process. If your hair is longer and you decide to put tea tree oil in your mixture, just make sure that you're careful about it being around your eyes because tea tree oil can burn. And we are also making sure that we're massaging the oil into our hair just to help with that absorption. And once again, one final round, I will go down my edges. This might seem like a lot of oil, but for my hair personally, I have 4C hair. This will all be absorbed in the next few days. Might be time for a retwist soon. Okay. I will let you see what the hair is looking like as I add the oil into it. Some people say do not add oil to your hair when it's locking. I've done it throughout the journey and it's fine. Maybe not in the beginning, beginning phases. But as you can see, the tea tree oil and the rosemary oil help with making your hair smell nice. Okay. This, just to keep the moisture in again. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Okay. If I need to go again, just go like that just to tuck the ends in. Last but not least, I am going to take a shower cap and I'm going to put it over my hair. Now I will take a towel, a hot towel, 
Basically a towel that I dip in hot water and wrap it around my head for about 10 minutes and then I will just sleep with this and then I'll be back to show you the end results. So we made it to the next morning and I am going to take my hair down so you can get an idea of what things are going to look like. I ended up not using the hot towel on my hair. It got to be a messy process, so we'll see how things have turned out without the hot towel. So there's a chance that you could complete the hot oil treatment without having to use a hooded dryer or use the hot towel. I am just going to undo. And there's definitely a lot of moisture in my hair right now, as I can feel. I don't believe my hair is fully dry. I am liking how things are looking. Hair feels a lot softer. My scalp feels a lot more moisturized. And in the next 24 hours, as it continues to dry, it'll look even better. Would I recommend a hot oil treatment? Definitely. I think if you're looking to add some moisture to your hair, give your hair an additional boost, I would 100% recommend it. I could even tell with how my hair is falling. It, it's just laying a lot better versus before where it was drier and it was sticking up. One thing that I am noticing is that my hair has already started soaking up the oils. So if you have concerns about doing this overnight and letting the oil stay in your hair, then you can see as an example that my hair is doing just fine. If you're interested, and more content similar to this I would encourage you to subscribe if you have any other ideas or any other things that you've tried for moisture feel free to leave a comment below